are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Queenie V Line back to you with another video. This video pertains to the 118th Congress as they are continuing to seek a Speaker of the House for the House of Representatives. As you may know, this is the first time in 100 years that there is not a Speaker of the House. As you may know, there is a new majority as the Republicans have 222 members while the democrats have 212. the guardians of putin have made it perfectly clear that they are going to suck the life out of kevin mccarthy now as the voting was escalating from three rounds to six in two days the continued chaos and foolishness ensued. One in which I will break down briefly. As Congress members were selecting their new Speaker of the House, they selected a new member. His name is Byron Donalds, the same representative who voted to overturn the 2020 elections with over 140 guardians of Putin on, you guessed it, January 6th, which is one day away from the anniversary in which persons were unalived and injured. How can the guardians of Putin select a representative who conspired in an attempted coup. Make that make sense. I have noticed a trend. Every time the Democrats nominate a qualified black candidate for office, here comes the guardians of Putin selecting one of the worst caricatures, most vile black person to represent their party this is giving deja vu this is similar to the race in georgia in which reverend dr Raphael warnock was battling heisman trophy winner herschel walker once again this is how the Republican Party truly feels about black people. I could have understand if they had found a quality representative to becoming speaker. But once again, they chose someone who is just as vile and just as vindictive as they are to quote-unquote becoming the next speaker while representative Hakeem Jeffries is literally six votes away from becoming the next speaker of the house this should be noted and mainstream media needs to do a better job of holding Republicans responsible they have the majority in the House and in the past two days of holding majority. They have caused chaos and confusion and is stopping the progress of the American people. Now you will watch the Honorable Cheryl L. Johnson acknowledging the representative Ag. Aguilera of California nominating Representative Hakeem Jeffries of New York, and I will be back with more commentary. For what purpose does the gentleman from California rise? Madam Clerk, I rise to nominate Hakeem Jeffries as Speaker of the House, the lead vote getter in the final in the last five rounds. The gentleman is recognized.
I rise today at the direction of the House Democratic Caucus to place into nomination for election to the position of Speaker of the House of Representatives, the pride of Brooklyn, Hakeem Jeffries of New York. Today, Madam Clerk, House Democrats are united. <laughs> united by a speaker who will put people over politics. Hakeem Jeffries has worked his entire life to improve economic opportunity for all people. He is committed to strengthening the American dream by lowering costs for working families, building safer communities, by taking weapons of war off streets, and by creating good paying jobs in industries of the future. As we work to implement our historic legislative accomplishments of the last two years, House Democrats are united behind a speaker who wants to make things in America and bring home jobs that have been shipped overseas to write a tax code. to write a tax code that rewards hard work, not wealth, to invest in clean energy that reduces our country's dependence on fossil fuels, from voting rights to reproductive rights, we are united. The Democrats in the House are ready to do the work for the American people, while Kevin McCarthy and his party is causing chaos, confusion, and stopping progress of the American people. I know I'm going to ruffle some feathers when I say this, but white women, you are a co-conspirator in this. You continuously vote for the guardians of Putin and we all suffer because you continuously vote for a party that does not even value you. While the Democrats have been continuously fighting to ensuring that our rights, regardless of race, gender, class, is protected. You protested and ran to the White House as if the Biden-Harris administration owed you child support. And at the end of the day, you went into the voting booth and still voted Republican. And now we have to suffer for the next two years. Thank you. Thank you for showcasing the chaos of the guardians of Putin. Representative Hakeem Jeffries and the Democrats are willing to do the work. While the Republicans are showcasing that they are not fit to do the work for the American people and they are are blocking critical bills which is needed to push the American people forward. I've said this before and I will say it again. Elections have consequences. Elections matter. Please be safe out here and I will see you in the next video.